Hey guys, welcome to my 34 week bump date. Six more weeks until baby comes and it's just getting so close, it's so crazy and I am like not prepared at all for him to come. <laughs> but more on that later. <laughs> this week, baby is the size of a basketball hoop, which I'm not quite sure, does that include, is that just like the rim? Does that include the net, the backboard? Like, I don't really understand all that, but he's the size of a basketball hoop and he's also the size of a cantaloupe. Baby is about five pounds now, give or take. Every baby at this stage is different in their weight, but about five pounds. So he's almost like to birth weight. It's really just so crazy. Baby is um, working on building his immune system. He's using a lot of my immune system to help build his own immune system. He is also peeing up to a pint a day. Not sure why you'd want to know that, but he, there it is. And he's also forming the first poop, which is the meconium. So just a lot of like body functions this week, I guess. I am just feeling very tired lately, just not a lot of energy. Doing any small task just like exhausts me. Um, I'm not sleeping very well at night. I wake up a lot because I have to pee a lot and then it's very hard for me to go back to sleep. So that's, I'm sure, contributing to the fact that I'm just so exhausted all the time. We're pretty sure that we have found a name for baby. Um, Anthony, my husband, is still iffy about it, but I think it's as good as it's going to get. Um, I think the problem is, is we just love our first son's name so much that it's hard to find another one that's just as good. But I think this name is awesome. We're not going to announce it until we give birth, but I think it's a really great name. So stay tuned if you want to find out what we name him. Baby is um, kicking and moving like crazy. Definitely still more of like an evening night owl kind of baby. He goes crazy every time I wake up in the middle of the night. Um, he has a lot of like sharp kicks and jabs and punches and he's still doing a lot of like crazy like full body movements so he is very active in there. I don't notice him as much during the day but I think that's mostly because I'm busy with my other son and so I don't have time to like concentrate on my belly. Heartburn has actually been really great lately. I haven't had tongues very much. Um, I do get like the burning sensation here or there, but it has not been so bad that I've needed tongues, so that's been awesome. It's getting really hard for me to just sit up. My belly, just how big it is, it's just like uncomfortable, uncomfortable for me to sit up, and it feels much better to lean back. Um, if I'm sitting on the couch, I almost always have to put like a pillow behind my back. Driving is the worst for whatever reason sitting in that seat. It just, my back is hurting and my um, left ribs are really hurting too. My husband and I, we just recently went on a baby moon and we walked a lot and it's just like my belly being so big and pulling so low. It like hurts the top, like my skin at the top of my belly because it's just like constantly pulling at it. So that's been really difficult. I've been um, very gassy lately on both ends. So that's not been super fun. Sorry, I'm like yelling, I'm just so tired. We are slowly getting ready for baby. I mean, I'm 34 weeks now, and so baby could come sooner rather than later. Although if he's anything like my first son, he'll be late after his due date, but I'm gonna start getting the hospital bag ready. Um, I'll probably make a video of like what I put in my hospital bag. And we have the nursery already and set up. We need to set up the bassinet. We have a halo bassinet that we put right next to our bed. I loved it with Grayson, so of course I'm going to use it again with this baby. Um, so it's in the basement. We just need to bring it up and get it done. Um, we have all the clothes hung up in the closet. My mom has been buying some new clothes. It's going to be a little difficult with this baby because even though he's a boy and so I can use all of Gray's boy clothes for him, he's born in like the exact opposite season that Grayson was in so while Grayson as a newborn and like up to three months 
in the past was like really up to six months he was in like short sleeves and shorts because it was hot outside this baby needs to be in like lungs because we're gonna go into fall and winter so I'm gonna have to like buy some new stuff some new clothes I also want to get a lot of like big brother little brother shirts that Grayson and the baby can wear together because that's so cute um, I have a whole list on Amazon I actually created a Amazon registry even though I'm not having another baby shower because it's baby number two I still created a registry on Amazon because anything you put on that registry, once you hit, I think it's 60 days before you're due or somewhere around there, everything on that list, um, if you buy it, you get it 15% off. I believe it's 20% off if you have uh, Prime, but yeah, 15% off that you get. So I have a whole list of things that I need to get with this baby. Things like another sound machine because Grayson has his own and he's still I still like him to have it. Or I want to get like new bedding so we can do a new like theme with this baby's room. Like Grayson with bears and I um I think I found like a dinosaur one on Amazon that I thought was really cute. I mean like diapers. Like we have my mom bought me some newborn diapers. So we have like a lot of newborn diapers, but that's about it. We don't, we have like one small package of size one and that's it. So I need to start buying diapers for the baby. I need a double stroller because I only have a single one right now and that's not going to work once I have two kids. So it's just like a lot of like random stuff that I need to get off Amazon. I also want to get like a personalized hat with the baby's name on it and I want to get a gift to ask the godparents. So it's just a lot of things that I need to buy and it's hard because it's like do I buy it now or do I wait because we're in the process of like getting ready to sell our house so it's like I don't want to bring more stuff in when we're trying to like keep everything like decluttered so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do but I have to figure that out and soon. I have a hard time getting comfy. I mean obviously like I was saying I have to put a pillow behind my back when I'm sitting on the couch. Even then though, it's kind of hard to get comfortable. Really, the best way for me to get comfortable is to just lay down. And most of the time when I lay down, of course it has to be on my side because if you lay on your back, like, it's not good for a baby. And it just doesn't feel good either. So I have to lay on my side. Sometimes the right feels better than the left and vice versa. And then also I always have to put like a pillow under my belly because like my belly hangs and so it like pulls on my skin and my organs it just it hurts so I need to like prop my belly up so even with all that sometimes I still can't get comfy so it's been really difficult I love walking around but even walking is starting to get hard for me just because it's just a lot of energy that I have to put into it. My belly hangs the whole time, so that's hard. I mean, if baby's about five pounds, like I'm carrying five pounds of him, plus however much the placenta weighs, all that amniotic fluid, and then, um, you know, all the extra weight that I've gained, which is about, like I said before, I haven't weighed myself recently, but about like 24 pounds-ish. Yeah, it's just, even walking, which I love to do, is just getting really hard for me. We're just getting to the end where like everything is just kind of uncomfortable and sometimes I'm like I really just wish this baby would come and so I could be done being pregnant and I want my body back and just have it for me but then on the other hand I'm like I don't want to have to be waking up every two hours throughout the night to feed this baby so I don't know <laughs> my hunger is very like up and down sometimes I'll be hungry like all the time and I'll eat like crazy and then other times like I know I should eat but like I won't be hungry or I'll start eating and then like within like a minute like I'm full and I've barely like touched my meal so it's very like up and down. My hair is still falling out like crazy. I'm shedding a ton. Um, I'm not sure if that's heat or just pregnancy but I thought I would make a note of that. My belly is getting so big that some of my maternity shirts even aren't starting to fit anymore. I mean, it's just like, I'm getting so far out there that it's just hard. I have to borrow like all of Anthony's shirts to wear at night because none of my night shirts fit anymore. I have to wear like large or extra large shirts. Otherwise, they're like super tight around my belly and it's just like not comfortable. 
be. It's getting very hard to shave my legs in the shower to like see around my big belly. And even like putting on my shoes lately, it's very hard to like bend over and put those on. It's, it's a chore. Let me show you my belly. Okay, here's my belly. I am wearing a maternity shirt this time. <laughs> Anthony likes the belly. <laughs> Oh, showing it off. Yeah, so here's my belly at 34 weeks. Getting bigger. <laughs> Sorry, that was my husband. He's working from home. <laughs> it's nice to have him working from home, it is. Um, another symptom that I've been dealing with is sometimes my skin at the top of my belly will start to become numb very random but I do notice it and my belly has been getting um, itchy lately I think just because like the skin is stretching and so it's just getting itchy but I think that's kind of it for this week um I feel like this vlog is kind of long anyway so thought I would just update you on those things stay tuned for next week I will have my 35 slash 36 I mean I'll be like a day away from six weeks. My next doctor's appointment, they will be testing me for group B strep, um, which will not be fun, and then we'll just get updates on heartbeat and belly measuring and all that good stuff. And we will see if baby is head down, which I'm pretty sure he is. So you're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned for next week. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I will see you guys next time.